Hi, this is the third video in the series. We are going to learn addition using the complementary numbers with respect to 10. So, what's a complementary number with respect to 10? 1 and 9 make 10. So, they are complements to each other. 2 and 8 are complements to each other. So are 3 and 7, 4 and 6, and 5 and 5. To make it easy, we remember these in pairs. 1's 10 pair is 9, 2's 10 pair is 8, 3's 10 pair is 7, 4's 10 pair is 6, and 5's 10 pair is 5. In Abacus, to do an addition using the tens pairs, we have a formula. It says add 10 and subtract the tens pair. Now let's try some examples. First example, 5 plus 5. We write 5 and now we are trying to add 5. We see that we do not have a 5 to do the addition. And this is the situation where we consider using a tens pair. So we add 10 and subtract 5's tens pair 5 and we got 1 0 10. Next example 8 plus 3. We write 8 and we do not have 3 bits to add. So we use the formula we add 10 and remove 3 is 10 pair that is 7 and we get 1 1 11. Now what about 3 plus 8? Let's write 3 and we do not have 8 to do the addition so we use the 10 pair and 8 is 10 pair is 2. So we add 10 and remove 2 and we got 1 1 11. What is the idea behind using the complementary numbers with respect to 10? Earlier I told you how we work on improving the subitizing skills in Abacus. A young child can easily judge a quantity up to number 5 without going wrong. Considering that the complementary numbers with respect to 10 get useful to break down any number that is greater than 5. So, following Abacus to do 7 plus 8, the students do not count 8 numbers after 7. But they practice to think of 8's 10 pair that is 2 and follow the pattern and get the result like this. With practice, they learn to see this pattern in their head and that supports their ability to do mental math. So that's all. In the next video, we learn to add numbers using the fives complement. Thanks for watching.